Today, I want to talk about my journey, not stable diffusion for a moment, because a few days ago, actually weeks, my journey finally released the in-painting function. Let's have a look at it together. The in-painting function can be activated by using the remix mode. For activating the remix mode, we need to go into settings. So once we are in mid journey, we'll type settings slash settings and we'll choose the remix mode like this. And then we just need to imagine our picture. So slash imagine and we type our prompt. And my prompt is gonna be a beautiful woman wearing a dress. Let's see what comes out. So this is an interesting error. I've never got it before. I'm going to try again. Let's see if something changes. And they're all great. <laughs> Mid journey, you, you can be sure that the image you're going to generate is going to be amazing. Now let's, uh, let's get one of them. I'm going to pick the first one. So we upscale the image. This is the image. Now, as you can see here, you have three different options. Uh, you can vary the image, but you're not going to decide where the image is going to be different. And you can specify what you would like in that region as well. Then this is great. This is in painting. So let's click on this. Now, here you have the original prompt, which we can change. And then here you have two different options for selecting the area you want to change. You can use this for creating rectangles or squares. Or you can use the lasso. Uh, and you can, you know, draw things like that, right? With this, you go back. So let's assume we want to change, I don't know, the dress. Let's change the dress. So I'm going to pick the lasso and I'm going to go around the dress like this. Lovely. And I would like to be... Something like that, maybe including also this one. And let's assume that we want a um, long sleeve dress. Now, obviously, I didn't take the whole hand. Uh, let's assume that we, we want to do that. We, we simply need to add this section to the painting. We don't really actually have to, you know, go back and reselect everything again. So we modify the prompt in order to include the long sleeve. And we press this little arrow here for generating it. And this is the result. Is it not great? Uh, we are actually getting what we want, which is a dress on this woman with long sleeve now. And this is how in painting works. It's pretty easy, right? So this was a very quick, quick tutorial. Let's assume we like the third one. We can maybe have a full portrait, which will be interesting, I suppose. We press on this arrow here and we submit. So it means that it's going to create the, the lower part of this picture. And as you can see, we have now a full portrait. If we want also, you know, the, the feet, we can continue building on top of that. And it looks amazing. It is, like my journey is simply amazing, uh, in my opinion. We can actually even zoom out or zoom in. In this picture, there is not much to zoom out, to be honest, because in background, there's just a wall. Um, but if you have an interesting background, it can be interesting, can be nice, right? It was pretty quick, but mm, yeah, I'm not really sure about this. Anyway, I just wanted to show you the painting function and very useful, super quick, uh, amazing results. And that's it. That's it for today. I, I hope you enjoyed. I hope this was useful. Thank you very much for watching and see you at the next video. Bye.